Hello everyone and welcome back to Contrast. So, I am pretty aggravated. A couple days ago I actually recorded this already. Um, I was, I had literally recorded like 40 minutes of the video. And then my computer crashed. So, I was very upset and discouraged so I couldn't record it again. Like, I was too upset. So, uh, yeah, I just, I just waited. I had to wait a couple days. Um, but here I am. I'm going to try and record it again. I'm upset that you weren't going to get my initial reactions to some things. But I will get further in the game than I would have uh, in that video because I had gotten stuck a few times. Um, Mango, calm down. Go lay down. Yeah, I got stuck a little bit um, when I was recording this the other day. So, at least there's that. I won't be as stuck. It'll be a little bit more entertaining. However, you won't get my initial reactions to some of the puzzles. And, um, yeah. But, like, not much story, actual story happened yet. So, actually, no. I think, hold on. I wonder if I can go back. We start from last week. I wonder if it'll put me in the right place. Nope. The beginning of a beautiful friendship. You missed some stuff. Um, I don't know if there's any way for you to go back. Um, hold on a second. This is right after Vincenzo's. Meet Didi back at the stage. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, so there is a little story um, that you did miss, but I I managed to get back to the story. So, but yeah, last episode I haven't even said talked about last episode yet. Uh, last episode I got pretty frustrated because of um, this stupid puzzle over here to get that. I was trying to get a luminary. I got pretty frustrated, and then. I got frustrated again when I was um, in Vincenzo's workshop because I was being stupid and not noticing like what I was actually supposed to do when the, what I was supposed to do was pretty self-explanatory. Um, or at least now when I was editing it the other day, I was like, it, it seems it seems pretty obvious. But so sorry about that. Sorry I got so stuck. Uh, but it was a, it was, the puzzles were a bit more complicated than they've been in the past, so. I got a little frustrated with that last episode. But then we met, um, Vincenzo. And, um, he had the exact reaction that I expected him to. He was upset that she was there, and he, um, can't, he doesn't have time for a kid because of his career. Um... And so he was talking about that to her, and, uh, yeah, he just, he does, just doesn't, he's not dad material. Uh, he just doesn't want a kid. Yeah. And so Dee Dee was upset, obviously, but it was, like, what I expected of him, so I wasn't surprised. And, um, then she, uh, he sent her back to her mother, so... Here what we are. do I do with you? Lock you up? Put bars on the windows? I can't stay at home all night and watch you. I know. I'm not one of those secretaries who punch out at five. I'm a rising star, right? Did Johnny know about this? Because I'm going to kill him. I just wanted to talk to Vincenzo. I never should have let him back. I just need him. Just wanted. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's Theater of the Unreal. Oh. That's right. I knew it. I knew this was another one of Johnny's pipe dreams. You screwed up again, didn't you? Johnny, what's going on? Is this part of the show? I got it. I got it. They're getting antsy. They're going to want their money back. If you give them the money back, you can't pay us. It's all under control. I just gotta go find a spare ball. Fuse. Something. Why can't he get anything right? We're gonna have to fix this one, too. Yeah. 
Yeah. We need to up the stage mm. somehow. Hmm. Yeah, I've already, um, I've already seen this part. Um, I also, I didn't see that there were luminaries that I need to get. And I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to get these luminaries. Um, hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's not until, um, later. Because that's, those are just the luminaries in the chapter, I believe, so. Gosh, those people sound pretty angry. So, I'm gonna go, I have to go to the lighthouse, which I know is over here. Um, but I'll navigate this puzzle pretty quickly, so there's that. <laughs> At least. Um, this is a weird lighthouse. Do you think it's some kind of science lab? It reminds me of Vincenzo's workshop. I think this is what lights up the lights up there. Let me see if I can fix it. Clever, clever girl. She's very smart. in your chair. I'm gonna check around here real quick just to see if there's a luminary because um, I didn't do this before. I didn't even realize that there were gonna be luminaries. Mm. I can't even go that way. Gotcha. Okay. Just double checking. Because luminaries, I definitely don't want to miss. Because I actually need those. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have to do this and go in here. Let's see if I remember how to uh, do this. Let's do this first. Yeah. Sorry that, uh, you're not getting my initial reaction. My computer... Computer is just... Just, uh... Like, my other computer... Um... Crash all the time. Um, but then this one still, like, crashes every once in a while. Um, I think it, like, overloads or like, overheats or something. I don't know. Um. Okay, so I have to do that. This part stumped me a lot. <laughs> um. I couldn't seem to understand, like, what I was supposed to do. But I have to do this, and then put box in there and then um, I move the box with the light yeah like that okay so I'm gonna grab it okay. and I have to put it over here I was yeah I was, <laughs> I was stuck at this part for a while. <laughs> okay, now I need to do this. Okay. Um, trying to remember what I'm supposed to do here. Oh yeah, I just have to follow that. I have to get in the light. So I have to wait for it to come around again. Which is annoying. Also, um, oh, I, I got, it's still, how does it, it still shows that I have the, how did it save those? 
for some reason it saved the um, collectibles that I got, but it didn't actually save where it was. It's really weird. Um, I will read those later. Uh, but actually, but I, 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 last episode I said that, like, I, I thought that I had, um, missed a lot of, um, collectibles. But, I didn't. Um, cause there were, in here. It doesn't do them all in order, like, I thought, so. Okay. Ah! No! I, I did not mean to do that. That was not my intention, but okay. Oops. Okay. There we go. I just gotta walk along here. Okay. Oops. <laughs> totally forgot that there was a hole there. Alright. Um. Okay. Just need to go up here. Um, and this was one of the collectibles I got, which is just a shadow person. Um. And then I got another collectible in here. That that was the other collectible I got. And this one too. Okay, I'm gonna read those. Uh, okay, and this this was one of the things. Um, missing illusionist sought an affair of missing assistant. Scotland Yard is searching for noted illusionist Mr. Artu Eliso uh, in connection with the disappearance of his magician's assistant, Miss. Aurora Rose, late of Chipping Norton. Miss Rose was last seen on stage at the Baker Street Theater during Mr. Iloso's famous illusion act. Mr. Iloso is well known for making his pretty assistants disappear and reappear. On the evening of October 28, however, he neglected to fulfill the second part of his act. Detained by police, Mr. Iloso proclaimed his own bafflement at Mrs. Ro Miss Rose's failure to return to the stage po uh, per modus operandi. Uh, she's supposed to vanish in the thin air, stated Mr. Illuso, but she's supposed to come back. Police inspector Giles Lestrade determined no sign of foul play. Indeed, police found no sign of wh whatsoever of the continued physical existence of Miss Rose on, the mortal on this mortal plane. Mr. Illuso was released from custody on Thursday. Now it would appear that he too has gone missing. Mr. Illuso's performances at the Baker Street have been cancelled and Mr. Illuso's hotel, the Blackstone, has not seen him since shortly after his release. His belongings remain in his room and, mysteriously, the maids report that some of his clothes have been displaced by a party or parties unknown. Persons in possession of information in regards to the whereabouts of Mr. Illuso or of Miss Rose are requested to inform the yard. And I thought this was interesting. Exposition Universal, 1900. Um, picture of Vincenzo and Don. I'm Don. So, that's, that's very interesting. I don't know, um, I don't know. I feel like something happened with, I thought like it, the shadow world thing was just like just this world just this world is like that but I don't know I feel like something might have happened to make it like that it's, it's very strange illusionist goes dark but the lights are still on fans of the unreal have long been waiting for the amazing Vincenzo to come to Glatz Glatzenbury 
Earlier this spring, the Strode Theater announced a string of ten performances by the increasingly famous illusionist this July. Unfortunately, rather than making things disappear and reappear as his, his wont, the Strode has announced that the young magician will not be appearing at all. Uh, did I already see this? I think I might have already read this, actually. <laughs> Sorry. Um, picture of a girl's shadow beside a woman walking down the sidewalk. Lecture. Um, picture depicting shadow dimensions effect on world. And this one, I think, is new. So is this one. Picture projecting skeleton to a shadow. Yeah, I keep seeing stuff about, like, the shadows. So, I feel like that has something to do with something. Uh, I'll read this. Uh, lecture by Dr. William James, professor of psychology at Harvard University, author of A Pluralistic, Pluralistic Universe and the Meaning of Truth Founder, the American Society for Phys uh, Psychical Research. December 2nd, 8 p.m. Frost Hall. The astronomically visible universe is but one possibility. Other universes may exist that parallel our own. Uh, the set of all possible universes is the multiverse. What significance does the multiverse hold for es ep epistemology and eschatology? Do new universes spring into existence as a consequence of free will? Can entities cross over between parallel universes? Dr. James will also detail his investigations into the multiverse via mystical experiences and experiments with nitrous oxide and peyote. Um, yeah, so those are all the collectibles that I got last time. Um, when... When the, uh, my game crashed. <laughs> also, I thought this was interesting. This is Eliso's family. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Oops. I know what I'm supposed to do, but I have to, uh... Yeah, this was the where I got that other that other um, collectible. Yeah, I found a lot of collectibles in here. I'm trying to remember what. Right, I need to do this so I can go in there. Alright, oh, I have to open this. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember exactly what I was supposed to do. Because it has been a uh, couple days. There we go. Um, it took me the longest time to figure out that I needed to focus the spotlight. I don't know why it took me so long. It was right there telling me. I like ignore the um what it tells me to do sometimes because it's sometimes it's literally telling me what I'm supposed to do and I just ignore it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to get this up there. jump up here and um, I have to focus the spotlight again oops um, yeah this part 
It took me a really long time to figure out how to, oops, how to um, focus the spotlight. I almost dropped it. Whoa, that just like slid. Okay. Here we go. And then I just have to put this in its place over here. Okay, and then I... This part took me a little bit too, but not too much time. <laughs> I pressed the button. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. Oops. That's right, I have to. Oh man. I pressed the button. It's not registering when I press it. That's weird. Okay. I'm up here. This is where it crashed. Oops. <laughs> Am I supposed to go over here? I'm not sure. I didn't go over here before. This is terrifying. Um, definitely didn't do this before. I'm like really worried about falling right now. Yeah, I don't... I don't think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um... Okay. Ah! Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm having trouble with, um... It registering. That I'm... After a few days, the princess got to wondering... Part that it, it crashed my computer for some reason. You think you're gonna jitterbug your way back into our lives with a lot of sweet talk? That's the past, cat of change. I supposed to that's right that this is where it crashed can I just yeah okay it's not as complicated as I was just trying to make it out to be whoa this is cool by the way this is uh very terrifying but cool um. Ooh. Okay. Here I am. I'm at the top. Where is the stage? I don't even know. Oh, okay. I see.
Isn't that supposed to be? Th isn't that? There we go. Let there be light was the achievement I got. Okay, now we're to where I haven't played yet. Sorry about that. Yeah, that took me 30 minutes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's Theater of the Unreal. I got the lights on. We'll talk about this after. Ladies and gentlemen, a physicist named Albert Einstein tells us that our universe may not be the only one. Mm. There may be infinite others, each slightly different from ours. But our dreams in our world may be reality in those. To citizens of these other worlds, we are shadows. Hmm. This appears to you to be an ordinary box, but it is actually what we call a tesseract or an octocoron. Suppose I open it, not in the three dimensions we live in, but along its fourth dimension. I can take out surprising things, things that are familiar and yet strange. But in this world of shadows, what seems familiar may be dangerous. What you don't know can hurt you. But what frightens you can also turn into something of surpassing beauty if you only understand it. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Hmm. Interesting. What's she doing? She's going backstage. I still need... yeah. Oh wait, I already got the luminaries. Because it says there's zero left in level. I didn't even notice that. Huh. Okay. What's she doing? What are you up to, Joe? You're up to something, aren't you? I tried, Kat. I really tried. Mom was right. I made a lot of promises I couldn't keep. What is with you? Without you, I'd be in the river. But it worked out, Daddy. I nearly got you hurt, kiddo. You would have saved me if I needed it. Hmm. Enjoy the show? I want you to meet the little girl who turned the lights back on. You made the lighthouse work? I fixed the puppet show, too. And the pirate ship. You fixed the pirate ship? It was only a little broken. <laughs> See? She's almost as smart as you. Of course, she's brave, too. What's that supposed to mean? That you're rich, famous, and afraid of a little girl. Yeah. What would you have me do, Mr. Fenris? Take her on my world tour? Take her to Shanghai and Istanbul and those other filthy and dangerous cities as some sort of apprentice? Is, is that what you came here to propose? Daddy, I no! Know. I don't know, just... Dee Dee deserves better. They both deserve better. They need you. I think they need you. Me? I'm a walking calamity. No, Daddy, we You need risked you. your life to be with them. Johnny, what did you do? He nearly got himself killed to get you back. I wouldn't do that for anybody. But I'm just gonna keep screwing up. I can help you fix things. Would you take me back? For good? Oh, Johnny. <laughs> Would you like to see my workshop? Again? Yeah. I bet you get to Shanghai on your own steam. But how? Well, you'll figure something out. After all, you are my daughter. How'd you do that? I thought only Dawn could do that. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Thanks 
for taking care of Didi. That's it? Oh my gosh, I... Wow, I did not know this game was so short. Um, wow. I was... Wow, I did not know this game was gonna be that short. Well, I guess it's it's good that I, uh, my computer crashed because I probably wouldn't have finished it and then I would have left it for the next episode because I didn't know it was going to be over. Yeah, wow. Wow, this game was very short. <laughs> that means I'm going to have to find another game to play. Jeez, I didn't even... I missed one thing. I don't know where, I don't know where it was. Um, one of the collectibles. I got all the luminaries, so that's good. Uh, but I missed one of the collectibles, unfortunately. Sorry. Um, but you should play this game for yourself and see if you can find it. But yeah, you should definitely play this game for yourself. It's very fun. I did get annoyed, uh, at certain parts. But, not too annoyed. Like, I didn't want to throw my comp my controller or anything. So, um, almost. I almost got there. A little bit. But yeah, it was a really fun game. It was very interesting. I'm really curious about this world, because this world was very, very interesting. Um, but, um, wow, the credits are over already. But yeah, this was a very cool game. I really liked the story. The story was very interesting. I was, I was, um, interested to find out what was going to happen. Yeah, and I was very curious about the world. I'm still curious about the world because I didn't explain everything. Um, the collectibles did explain some certain things a little bit. But still left some questions. Yeah, I don't know much what else to say about this game. It was very cool. Um, I really liked the gameplay. Um, I really liked the puzzles, although some of them were a little annoying and some of them were a little tedious. But overall, like I really enjoyed this game. And it was very short, and I did not expect it to be this short. Um, I did do 45 minute episodes, so I guess I got more done. I finished it a little quicker. Because because of that but um but still yeah pretty short game it's it's nice it's short and sweet like uh it um had a pretty it had a condensed a uh, very condensed um story it, short and to the point um and i really like that and they did lay, still leave some questions um which is good um, I'm glad I like that they leave they leave some of the mysteries still there um, about the, this world and yeah I, that's really all that I have to say I have nothing but good things um, I mean I did get annoyed a little bit but I get annoyed with a lot of games but still enjoy them I do get annoyed pretty quickly <laughs> um, if I get stuck or if I am having trouble with like a certain puzzle or whatever uh, I get annoyed pretty quickly. But overall, good game, fun, good story, good gameplay, good mystery, good um, setting, very good setting. I like the collectible system because it only adds to the story. And then I like the luminaries because you actually need them and that's, that's a fun thing to collect because you actually, they act you actually need them, so. Yeah, very good game. You should play for it, play it for yourself. Um, I mean, I played through the story, and um, but but if you want to like try and collect everything, then you should definitely play it for yourself and try it. It's very fun to actually play. Um, and I will, uh, I always put a link to the um, game down in the description. It's on Steam. I don't know how much it is right now, but yeah, if you want, you should play it for yourself. And um, I have no idea what I'm going to play next. I'm going to have to figure that out before um, before next time. <laughs> before next week. But yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this um, Let's Play. And uh, be on the lookout for another game for me soon. Because uh, I will be starting a new game. Like right away. To film this Wednesday. <laughs> 
slot. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, if you like this game, please go and check out some other Let's Plays that I've done down in the description below. I've done a lot of other games that you can go and check out, and I plan on doing a lot more in the future. So, you should subscribe if you'd like to see more of that. Um, and I will be starting another game very, sh very soon. So, um, you should be on the lookout for that as well. Thank you so much for watching. You'll see me next time with another video. Bye.